Here's a way I like to practice the diminished scales. And when I do it this way, I hit both forms, the whole step, half step, and the half step, whole step. And it's a way to do it continuously. I'm going to play it, and then I'm going to show uh, it notated. I'm only going to do it for one form of the scale. And I think you can figure out the rest. And it's always best to memorize this stuff, of course, to have access to it when you need it. Right, just look at this for a second you can see it's just a scale going down it's uh starts with a whole step and a half step then i come back up and right before uh, when i get back up there i skip a note i see i go from the a to the c and then i come down the b flat and that gives me the other form of that scale and i then I, when i come back up i skip again as you can see and then i come down in the other form and i keep moving down note by note by doing it like this, by skipping the note. And I could start up at the highest possible note and go all the way down to the bottom of the range. I just wrote it here a couple times just to show you how to do it. And uh, the next thing, now I'll play it and you can look at the music. <laughs> All right, so now I'm going to reverse it, and I'll play it first, and then I'll show it notated. <laughs> All right, so here you can see where, you know, I labeled where the skip is, and you can see it when you saw me, heard me play it before. And the reason this works is because the diminished scale is an eight note scale. And then by leaving that out, it just allows me to come back up the different form of the scale. So I'm alternating ascending with the half step, then with the whole step form. And I can sort of start at the lowest possible note this way and go all the way up as high as I can go. And I could do it for all three forms of the scale. There's three sets of these notes. And within each one of those sets, you could do two forms. You could do the half step, whole step, or the whole step, half step. And um, it's just a great way to practice them and go up and down and cover it. And, you know, methodically get them in your ear and under your hands. And they're really great uh, things for your technique overall. They really get you... Uh, hitting all the different chromatic notes in the course of playing the scale. So next up, I'm going to show some things that I do with where I play the scale in thirds. That's for the next video. Oh, and one last thing. Of course, you can make up your own variations for this. I do one where I only use one octave. I go up, I put the skip on either end of the scale. I'll show you that in the next one. Thanks for checking it out.